All right, guys, welcome back. This is DH, the OGK. So uh, it is time to rock and roll on some of my tricep moves. And you guys have asked over the years what I do for my triceps. Normally, I don't train them. Uh, I trained them a lot in the beginning, but now uh, they're kind of just like a touch up. So, you know, you get these bad boys rock and rolling and show you some of uh, some few tips and some tricks that you can do on your own and grow your arms. Uh, a little bit better than they were before. So if you're ready, let's go. So one of the other favorites that uh, people like to use is floor presses. So get yourself something that you can set this, these bars down low. And of course, when the uh, triceps are touching the base there, you're allowed to drive up. And that's taking a lot of emphasis away from other things. When you go from a dead stop, and you guys hear that quite often, dead stop. It takes more amount of force of the muscle tissue to engage and activate that moving up than just going through the motions itself. So, so pull the bar, press it up, and it down. Got to engage like that. You can choose whatever grip you want to use. Go narrow or wide. You go narrow. Down, squeeze up. Base, squeeze up. Base, squeeze up. And you'll notice <laughs> my strap, my triceps don't allow my arms to go fully to the ground. But again, if you're working within your variables and your limits, very, very effective one. Knock it out. All right, guys, welcome back. You got DH in the house here. A little background that I have to edit out, but <laughs> either way, uh, you guys know I'm not a proponent for skull crushers or anything that puts your elbows in a compromising position. But I like to use a lot of reverse underhand things. So, what you're gonna see grabbing two handles on one of your functional trainers or any of your other uh, vertical uprights, the movement as you're pulling through, you're gonna try and force those handles out, force them outwards, all right? Activate the long head of your triceps, all right? So when you pull down fully, force them out, contraction, all about the contraction. Long head here, short head on the outside, all right? Here, pull them down, spread out. Pull. Get. Get that contraction. Always go for contraction. The, the strength will come up, the weight will come up. Of course, with the contraction first, all other things are secondary. subscribe down there hit that so you keep up on the weekly updates all right the next exercise you're going to hit is some double arm kickbacks that's one of those old school exercises that people don't really use anymore because either they can't get the form right or they use too much weight and they use a lot of momentum to swing it what you're going to end up doing grabbing the handles like usual you can use your functional trainer grab it upright vertical like that kick it back again mobility limited my triceps are a little bit in the way, so this is as far as I can kick it back. Let's just do the years, picking it up, all right? So, double arm, grab your handle. Same thing, step back, kick it to the rear. Focus on that contraction. Everything's contraction. Boom. Getting a long head back here. That's gonna give you that. You look so basically, this is what you got, but it ain't fat. So, knock out usually around uh, three sets 10 to 12, increase the weight every set, uh, and focus on the squeeze. Got 
Guys and girls, welcome back. So the next exercise uh, that I used over the years, um, I don't like skull crushers themselves because I feel they put your elbows and your shoulder joint in a compromising position. Yeah, that's just me, uh, personally, personal preference may uh, prevail over most of you, but that's not something I like to do. So we took that and I expressed that to uh, member Dante Trudell a long time ago. So we've got some of those DC tricep extensions overhead using a Smith machine. Takes a lot of that play out of there, a lot of your elbow uh, issues out of there too for those of us that are getting older, a little elbow tendonitis, things like that. Uh, this one can help you immensely. So it stresses the short and the long end at the same time. It's not a, it's not a press, okay? It's not a press with the shoulders. What you will see is a little small amount of shoulder involvement in the front. You're gonna wrap, you're gonna bring it down. Let your elbows go where they're gonna go. Press up. And down, press up. It's not a shoulder press. Just extension, extension. Nice controlled movements. Get that flex at the top, control it down. Flex at the top, control it down. Knock out to the 12 Ds, or you can do my infamous 12 10 8. And that should do it. You round it out, knock them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't uh, already subscribe, subscribe down below uh, and keep, keep up on the updates. I'm gonna try and keep them coming weekly for you. So, peace out. checked out my previous exercise. So we started with floor presses, taking a lot of momentum out of that, going from the ground up. So that definitely emphasizes more uh, power structure. Put a power movement in your tricep moves the first time out. You saw me doing reverse handles. So the reverse handles, man, helping you out with the horseshoe around, all the way around. Guys, short head, long head, what's we're emphasizing, all that different stuff. You saw me emphasize the kickbacks. You can do them single arm, you can do them double arm. Go double arm to just to force a little more variety into your workout sets themselves. Uh, you can do some of modified uh, DC overhead tricep extension using the Smith machine. Excellent ex exercise to use overall. You saw uh, a couple other things that were going on, but overall, throw some of those different varieties into your training program. Emphasize the contract contraction, contraction over everything. Uh, the weight will come later once you learn how to do the momentum and the movement uh, the way they're supposed to be done. Again, some of these things aren't rooted in science, but just from a trainer's uh, standpoint and a professional standpoint, not used, that's some of the things that I can pass on to you. Hopefully that enhances your training. Until then, you guys stay safe, you train hard, and I'm out.